Okay, boom. The scene starts off with Peter Parker doing his Uber Eats delivery job, and he really thinks he's about to have a normal night. But nah, it's about to get real serious for him. My guy Harry has a Hall of Fame chase down badge activated, so he catches Peter lacking and immediately scoops him up. They start boxing and Harry gives him that CTE and then follows up by slashing through Peter's body. And oh nah, look at Peter's face. You know he wasn't ready for Harry's get back after what he did to Green Goblin. You know Harry had to slag for his father, I don't blame him. Peter starts spamming webs at Harry, but his chances of landing one of them are as the same as Rod Wave eating a piece of broccoli. It's not happening. Peter is locked in, but we know deep down inside he's fighting for his life right now, cause he doesn't even have the black suit on. Peter is in combat with his work suit and nothing else. That's how I know he was cooked. Peter starts spinning like a fidget spinner until Harry comes in and like smacks him against the brick wall. And I know his back is on life support, cause if he decides to get up and start walking, his back is gonna be looking like Quasimodo from Disney. Harry, you're not even gonna let me put on the black suit? Hey Peter, I don't wanna hear another word from you. I'm about to turn your face into Play-Doh. Harry goes in for the finishing move, but Peter manages to slither away cause he saw that coming from a mile away, considering he has those spidey senses. Harry, listen to me, I didn't kill your father, he sent himself to the gulag. And if you're Harry in this situation, there's no way you're supposed to believe that's true. So he obviously gets pissed off and says, Harry breaks the platform that Peter is on and then comes back around and gives him a Super Mario Smash Bros special. Look at my guy Peter, he was not built for this. I know he was reconsidering if he should have stayed a nerd instead of becoming a superhero. Like bro, you're telling me this kid is supposed to fight villains. Harry grabs Peter and starts ragdolling him across a few buildings until he smashes him through a window. And you know Peter is in complete pain when he pulls out that constipation face, looking like he's about to take the fattest crap of his life. Peter gets put into a chokehold, but he reacts with a spider web into a mean elbow. Got Harry's head looking like that one dog that got bit by an insect. Peter takes control of the hoverboard by giving Harry that roundhouse spin and sends him flying into the air. Peter was pulling moves straight out of Mario's playbook, cause ain't that the same one that he used against Bowser? And this is the part that gets me tight, cause why are you focused on your engagement ring and not the fight? Like bro, you're fighting a man who was fiending for his get back, you cannot be moving like this unless you wanna get sent to Gwen Stacy. Peter starts hitting the dash, and I'm pretty sure that Phantom can run faster than you, because why are you that slow bro? This man is really running away, like I can't bro. If someone looked out their window and saw that Spider-Man is ducking smoke, they would not claim you as their favorite superhero anymore. Peter does not want any problems cause his main objective is trying to get away from Harry as fast as he can. But nah, Harry is already in that 2012 LeBron mode, he is not letting you run. Harry was hitting the craziest parkour out there looking like Flappy Bird, and there's only one thing on his mind which is to avenge Green Goblin. Harry pulls out a sword and just by hearing the sound of his blade, Peter knows he might end up like Jiraiya if he doesn't tee up right now. And this is 100% Harry's first time ever wielding a sword. Because bro, how are you missing this badly? My teammates on Warzone have better aim than you. Harry proceeds to jump off the hoverboard and I want you guys to take a close look at the way he's coming down with his sword. Like bro, this is supposed to be your best friend but you're trying to hit him with a Mortal Kombat finisher? Like nah, this does not add up. Harry definitely got pure hatred for Peter bro. Harry misses again, to nobody's surprise of course, but then he resorts to chucking a bunch of boomerang balls or whatever you want to call it. Like that was definitely Harry's first time ever throwing explosives, I'm surprised he didn't blow himself up. But anyways, Peter gets sliced and diced and starts screaming like that one dude on the ground. Like bro, what are you yelling at for you to be moving like this? Peter was not trying to lose to someone that became a villain one day ago, because bro, this man was just at school with Peter the other day, you can't fool me. Peter turns around and manages to dodge the boomerang, but in the process Harry gets stuck in the chest by one, and I know he's hurting. And at this moment I say to Peter that I was not familiar with your game, because this is where he starts cooking like Chef Curry. Peter uses webs to get rid of the boomerangs, and then uses the last one and throws it at Harry. Harry had no clue in the world what was going on, cause Peter had him squinting for dear life. But this is where I give Harry the name Fraud Osborne, because watch what happens.
Like, oh, nah. Peter really knocked this man into a whole coma just by getting hit by a single web. Like, he's more injury prone than Anthony Davis. I don't even know how that's possible. Peter comes to check up on Osborne like the real friend he is, but realizes that it might be over for him. He might not be able to come back. So Peter pulls up on Harry in the hospital after almost sending him to be reunited with Green Goblin. But the thing is, Harry instantly recognized that it's Peter, but didn't remember the fight between them last night. And to be honest, I'm not surprised that he didn't remember what happened, because he definitely got CTE for life after how hard he got hit. Bro, imagine telling the doctor that you got packed up by a spider web. I would have been clowning him like crazy. Because you're a fraud, Osborne, just like your dad. Bro, how do you lose to someone that's not even in their suit? Because catching an L to Peter in his Uber Eats work outfit is crazy. Like Harry, you had all the tools to win. You had explosives, a hoverboard, and a whole katana. But nah, you somehow managed to choke. But I'm not gonna lie, if y'all subscribe right now, I'll run up the next part very soon.